But this is the place they claim is really the governing body in Ireland, Maynooth, which ironically, some historians argue, was built by the best intentions of London to prevent Irish clergy bringing the worst intentions of revolutionary Europe back to Ireland. Home rule is Rome rule, they paint on the Belfast walls. What would they paint on these hallowed walls? Ne temere, divorce, contraception, special position, that's what makes it that wee bit more, uh... How do you feel about the bishops? The bishops? Well, I don't have much to do with them. <laughs> you know, you s they're in now and again, you see them walking around, but I don't know them very well, you know, mm -hmm. or anything. No. But, uh, they moved into the college and mixed and met with the students. <laughs> but uh, I don't know much about them. Mm. Well, do they, do they, do they talk on them about uh, birth control or anything like that? Is that any uh, debate here in the university now? Like? Um... About well, it's died down a lot now, you know. It's not as prominent as it was. As it was, no. No, no. it's no, because yeah. this is yeah. a thing like, you know, it's, I think it's getting a wee bit more yeah, yeah. down to earth. Yeah. Yeah. Acceptable, really? Yeah. 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 I think, uh, brainwash, no. <laughs> <laughs> not me, anyhow. <laughs> no, I, uh, most, pardon, yes? Uh, from your point of view now, do you think the Catholic Church exerts much influence from here on Southern Ireland or even Ireland as a whole, from your point of view now? Um, I'd s well, it has influence, all right, you can't deny that, but I'd, I think, like, people are more inclined to think now themselves than be influenced from above. What do you think of this man? Is this man? Well, is this, is, this your own, is this your own thing? I've seen that. I've seen you down there now. <laughs> you might as well crack up. Oh, <laughs> Let it all hang out. So it's, your, it's your scene, isn't it? We'll do have we'll have this in the students too. You get a few nutters, you know. As people <laughs> like to call them, I don't know. But it's your You're thing. Well, <laughs> well, you're different, aren't you? Yes, you're original. Uh, not at all. What do you think the, the position of the church is regarding Monmouth College? Oh, so as a bell. We pass no heat on them, and you know, I just tag along. And what are you studying yourself? I'm doing history and sociology. No, you are. You're, you're, what, uh, you're your intentions to go into it? I don't know. I've got that tall. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have a brother at Larry Connery. Maybe just say but, it. But uh, I better go on and look. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to put all your accusations about brainwashing to them? No, no. Just uh, what would your views, what's your views on uh, as regards uh, to birth control? Are you for this or I want to say with the present cost of living that you'd probably do yourself? Economic uh, the whole economic structure. That two or three kids would be quite well, ample. Isn't that a decision, though, for the family concerned? No, I'm not yeah, the type to make up any other sure man's the mind. Catholic, the Roman Catholic Church have uh, made this clear that the people have no say. They forbid, they forbid, they forbid. I wouldn't agree with that. I wouldn't agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. The, no. the, present, the present tendency, uh, the present thinking in the churches is that responsible parenthood is, is what the, the, the emphasis has been put on the responsible parenthood at the moment, you know. So it, in a way, it's a sin to have have two uh, too big a family, to, 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 uh, the one that you're asked well, to educate. Sure like now, but it is the present, I think, yes, modern the present theology, the, 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 the modern uh, theology, uh, you know. Well, what about the, uh, the statement that the Pope made? Uh, well, that's an idea presented to Catholics, and it's up to their own consciences to, to decide whether they can subscribe to that ideal or not, you know. Doesn't Minus in itself uh, close its eyes to the fact that there are over a million Protestants in the North uh, by the fact that the Church uh, claims to speak for a 32 county Ireland when in fact we know that Ulster is by herself with Great Britain. I think you're being a bit unfair to us. For example, we had Roy Bradford down the other night talking to us, you know. Yeah. Uh, there have been quite a number of Protestants down. We have Protestants coming in from Archbishop Trinity Archbishop and so on. We have Archbishop Sims down. You know, trying to listen to the other point of view. You're listening to a lot of politicians. These are the wrong people now. We're only, only working class. I'm, a, I'm only a lorry driver. I drive in the shipyard. Let's hear your opinion then. I'm only a shipyard worker. I'm not Roy Bradford. I wouldn't give a damn if Roy Bradford walked in here now. Because as far as I'm concerned, he doesn't speak for me. And I don't think anybody else would. He doesn't, speak for, he doesn't me. speak for me because those people can relay to you a message which is maybe a false hope. Uh, uh, both of you, teaching sisters, could ask you your opinion on integrated education. Do you not think it would be a good thing for the community generally to let them get their teaching from the church outside of the schools? Um, actually, I teach in England, and I would yes. say that, in a sense, we have integrated education, 
but what I'm I would speaking like speaking about to Ireland. You are, I know, but looking at Ireland, even, you know, coming from England, I would still say um, what I would like to see here is more integration in the sense of boys and girls being educated together. It's a parental choice that they no, want their children to be brought up in the faith, their own faith, and they feel that within this situation, education and is an important thing. It's sort of more or less well, you're, you're the household faith. The just to get the Do, answer our two friends here as regards... Uh, when someone goes to confession now, we understood that, that, that mon, uh, the, pay, the money passes hands for this. Is this true? No. 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 Nothing like this. No. Uh, now, how would you, what would your attitude be to uh, a known professional IRA man coming in? Say, for instance, after a niggly alpacorn disaster. I would like to know what you would say to this man. I would ask him to, to consider the, the, very, the seriousness of what he's done and the harm that he's done to human life and all the rest of it. And I would ask him, I would try to find out if he thought that he had committed any sin. And if he hadn't, if he didn't think that, I would, I would try and convince him that he had. But in the north, we are told that the Catholic Church is unholy because it goes through the you know, sculptures and various things, I guess, here. Yet we are taught as Presbyterians, etc., to more or less, you're going direct to God rather than through, what's the word they use, intermediaries? Even the Virgin Mary or, yeah. or any of the saints, the statues of the saints. This is a big yeah. stumbling block in the north, this, because up in the north we are very religious. Yeah. And this is really a stumbling block because there's this difference here. I think it's ridiculous to think of a difference between Catholics and Protestants. Anyway, I'm a clerical student now, I'd be ordained a priest next year. And really I don't know if I know the difference between Catholics and Protestants or if I'm worried. As far as I'm concerned, I'm a Christian there trying to be Christian. Christian religion is a very dynamic thing, and we're all going to have our own ways of expressing it. I'd never try to convert yeah. a Protestant as such. Well, I just can I ask you a straightforward question, though, that is, do you, now we're standing here, we just, this is down, we're down this for this RTE coming. Do you think we're just talking about we are bigots? Well, like a straightforward answer. Do you think we are bigots? No, by the very fact you're talking, you wouldn't be a bigot. Yeah. Not the very fact there's communication and dialogue. It's, it's a short sign there's no bigotry there. Well, th this is the thing, you see. We, uh, this is not a set up thing. We're, this is, although they're filming, it's not set up the way we're talking. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I'm talking as me. Jim's talking as him. We're asking a few questions. There's a whole lot of thing that's been mythical. But there's a whole lot of, we, I firmly believe like, that the, the Roman church is definitely behind everything. Well, and your question. teachings and your, your birth control and your education. I would education. question the depth of your uh, understanding of what they teach and your knowledge of what they teach. You know, uh, too many things are accepted and not questioned, that would seem to me, on both sides.